look about you, Shirley DIY Design. And if you haven't had a chance to go by Amazon.com and pick up a copy of my children's books to support me in my writing, please do. And if you have purchased a copy of my children's book, thank you and God bless for your support. And thank you for all that you do. And thank you for being a subscriber. I appreciate all my viewers. And today I will be making over this headboard. This is the material that was on it. And um, this headboard was twin bed was given to me by my daughter. So I ripped off the fabric and here I am filling in where that big buttonhole was. I cut out some foam pads to fit the hole to fill it in so that I can do a tucking style on this twin headboard. So I used this lock tile adhesive spray and I sprayed it on the area that I needed to build up with the foam. And then I took it and I spray the big piece of foam that I have on it. And the reason why I'm fanning it is because you have to wait for a few seconds to let it get tacky so that it'll stick properly. I use this on when I'm making my headboard from scratch. And if you would like to make this headboard or make a headboard like mine, king size tuffet headboard, you will need to go to Lowe's and our Home Depot and pick up a piece of wood the size your headboard needs to be. And you will need to buy some four inch foam and some batting to cover it. And then you just spray the adhesive on the board and then put down your foam and then put your batting all over the top of it. Here I have measured out where I want my tuffets at. This is not the diamond shape pattern. This is another pattern that I designed for this twin headboard. But if you want to do a diamond shape, you would need to pick how many how many inches you want apart, which I measure into, and then you uh, figure out how many tuffet you would need. You will have to do a Even though we're on top of like eight, if you're doing a king size, then the middle row will be like 10, and then the bottom row will be like eight. And that'll give you a tuffet diamond shape. That's what is done on my king size here. But this one, it had a little uh, arch in it, so I did a different kind of tuffing on it. I did a three on top. And then I did a four, and then I did a five, and then I did a four on the bottom. So it's not a diamond shape because of that way it's designed. In here, I'm placing my fabric. I'm using a crushed velvet fabric that I ordered from Amazon. What I did is I put my fabric on it and I hold it and I turned the, board, my, the headboard over and I stapled the top of the headboard only to hold and secure the fabric in place where I want it to be on top. And then I turned the fabric back over it with the headboard attached to it, the fabric. And I began to find my center. When you're tapping, you always want to start with your center. And then you find the two center one and you will staple it down. And this is the reason why you want to cut where you made your tuffet holes to go so that you can have nowhere when you turn the fabric over where you're going to place your staple to hold on your fabric for the tuffet. As you see, I'm doing here. I'm finding my middle and then I'm stapling it in. And there's the tuffet. And, and as you, I, when I go over it, to the next one and then go all the way across and then I go down to the next row and you want to work from your inside out to your right and then your inside out to your left and stapling your 
tough down. This is a very easy project to do. Headboards are not hard at all. You just need to find out what size you want and what fabric you want and get your batting and your foam and your staple gun and your roofing nails. The reason why you need the 7 8 roofing nail is because a staple doesn't hold fabric in the wood secure as the roofing nail. So you're using the staple gun to help you with setting up your taffy and your fabric. It's kind of like when you're using a hot glue gun to hold, it, hold your um, project, but later you go back with the E6000 too. So that's what the staple gun is. It's a temporary hold. And if you need to, you don't like the way your tough it is, with the staples, you can pop the staple off with a flathead screwdriver or a butter knife. And you can start over it and it won't rip the fabric and it doesn't show. But when you do your roofing nails, it's gonna give it more of a permanent hold. Hold the fabric into the wood. It's not gonna come up. Also, I have did the drilling method for the button and the thread uh, with toughen. What you do is you go ahead and cut your holes uh, through your batten and your foam, and you drill, take a drill and you drill your holes, and then you have to get this large upholstery in you that the because of the uh, thread you use is almost like yarn because it has to be very thick because you're gonna run it through the button and you're gonna pull it really tight and you're gonna staple, pull it through the hole, the drill hole, and then you're gonna staple it through the back of your headboard like three times, you're gonna make times so that it can secure. This method takes more time and consuming and it's much more work because you got to make sure you pull in that button really tight that it give you that tougher look. Whereas in the stapling and then going back with the roofing nail but with the, give you a, a strong toughing and it holds. So this method is a lot easier, a lot quicker. So I like this method a lot better than I did the, um, the drill and the threading of the button. And also this method with the staples and the roofing nail, you can use any gym. It doesn't have to be a button to put in. You can buy the beautiful, huge crystal um, gems and you can attach them with the E6000 to the roofing nail. But use the industrial E6000 when you're attaching it to the button and it's not gonna come out. The stapler uh, give you a chance to undo your toughen if you don't like it and redo it. Cause you can just pop the staple out and reposition your fabric and it's not gonna put a hole in your fabric. So that's why I use the stapling method to tough it first and then I go behind it with the roofing nail. Because the roofing nail is going to be a more of a permanent hole. Now that I have finished tucking it, I'm flipping it over and I'm 
go ahead on and staple all the fabric to the bottom and the sides of the headboard. And once you get finished um, stapling your fabric to your headboard, you can go back with the scissors and cut off the excess fabric from um, the back of the board. And now I'm about to apply the roofing nail. They are seven eight inch roofing nail. You can get them from Lowe's, Home Depot. That's the smallest I could find. If you can find them a little shorter, you can get them a little shorter. But that's the only size that I find was a seven eight. And I'm gonna nail them all the way in with all the tuffing. And when you are nailing these roofing nail in make sure you put a piece of wood or something underneath to give you that extra div division between whatever surface you're working on so that the nails won't go into that surface this headboard i didn't have to do it with because it had already had the wood going around it and uh, because it had led lights on it and i'm gonna place the led lights on one side put the headboard back together onto the bed and when I get this done I'm gonna post the video of the bed and here you can see right here where the nails went through and the board that I was talking about and trimming off the excess fabric at this time and if you like this video and you learned something new and if I helped you please like share and subscribe but here I'm gonna go in and I got these little diamond um, from Dollar Tree and I'm using the E6000 industrial strength E6000 to glue it down and it I'm gluing it to the nail so that they will prominently stay on and they didn't have to be buttoned. They just these little gems I got from Dollar Tree. And they were like a crystal. So this method is very good at, you know, attaching anything besides buttons to your headboard that you might find something you really like. And this method is really well for. But like I said, if you like this video and I share it, I help you. If I share enough to help you with your headboard, or you have any questions, just inbox me and I will help you. But as you see, this is how it came out. It came out very beautiful. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye-bye. Until next time.